What's up guys and welcome back to another episode Dirt Fish in America. I am your host Brandon Ray Nice. Actually, it's just playing my channel. No, this is my channel. Okay. And today we are in central Idaho. Well, I guess it's kind of southwest Idaho. We're near a town called Rocky Bar that was established by the mining community in the 1860s and well, there's still gold here and a lot of people are still looking for it, including Johnny Utah, who's somewhere in the hills behind me here. And me and Ace are gonna be doing some crevicing and filling up some pans full of material and hopefully doing a little gold panning while we're up here. We just actually took a drive up to the town of, well, what's left of the town. It's a ghost town now, but it was some really cool stuff up there, huh? You were doing eight and a seven. Speed limit is clearly marked seven. Not five. <laughs> no. Not 10. Uh-uh. Seven. Seven. Hmm. I'd yes. Of six. Eight miles an hour would clearly be too fast in this highly populated area. <laughs> we'll have to order a custom sign. It'll be really expensive because it's custom. Mm. Seven. Seven's the key number here. Seven little chipmunks sitting <laughs> on a branch, eating lots of sunflowers on my uncle's ranch. Seven. We are in Rocky Bar, Idaho, established 1863. Today's population, duh. A cool old stove. Schools are so cool. America. The winters have been hard. This one back here is my favorite though. That's Slim Jim's cabin. He was six foot nine, weighed 110 pounds. <laughs> so he built his cabin, he built it narrow and tall. <laughs> this whole area has been mined for gold for over a hundred years, and it still produces a lot. That's why everywhere you look, there's keep out, no trespassing, private property, claim number, blah, 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 everywhere. Just a friendly reminder, always do your due diligence. Make sure that you're not on anyone's private property and that you have permission to be wherever you are and that you're not on someone's claim. That is your responsibility, you have to know that. I would have loved to show you with my drone footage. Unfortunately, there was a little incident with the drone. Two hours later, uh, we found it on the side of a hill, much like that. But good news is we got the drone back. Bad news is um, you only have this footage. <laughs> And that's all we got of that town. So let's get to it. What are you looking for? Gold and blue, what is it called? Topaz. Because apparently, apparently there's topaz up here too, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, well, hopefully we can find some of that too. I see you've got a hammer, mm -hmm. a necessary tool, and you've got a screwdriver and a little crevice tool. That's actually a tent stake. Um, we didn't really come prepared. We weren't really planning on gold prospecting, but we said, you know what? We're here, we gotta try it. My essential gear for the day, a $9 teeny tiny gold pan that I picked up from the store in Pine. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Ooh. What? I got all excited, I thought those were huckleberries. They are not, do not eat those berries. Yes. Okay, um, up here. You can tell this whole area has been worked extensively by Looking at these uh, tailings piles, and all of this stuff was the material that they were looking at. Hey. Oh, look at someone else has been digging up there, huh? Yeah. You can tell most of this material was underwater at one point or another because it's all rounded and water worn and also because there's a creek that runs right through here. Several hundred years ago, the creek would have been cutting its way, eroding through this hill, but also leaving deposits of gold along the harder bedrock of this area, um, much like this. 
decomposed granite. That gold would have liked to sit in this stuff, and now it's kind of all flaking out. So it might be worth panning some of that. Mm -hmm. Look at that spot up there. That's got some like exposed bedrock sticking out. You gonna be able to make it? Yep. I don't know. You didn't really bring the right shoes. Whew. Well, we made it. It's a little steep. A little steep. Oh, hang on. <laughs> He's picking apart the bedrock. You're doing good. That's the stuff that you want to get at, huh? Yeah. So what we're going to try and do is pick apart a lot of this granite. exposed bedrock, this decomposing granite. Yeah. Because it probably captured some of the gold in like crevices like that. See all this dust in here? That's the stuff that we want. Yeah. Hang on, don't bop it yet, don't bop it yet. Hey, stop, stop, stop. When you're tapping it, you're making the gold sink deeper. So we want to okay. get this dirt right here. Yeah, scratch it out. Can I do that? Yeah. Here, let me get some of this out. See, gold is dirt. That's right, it does like to be in there, huh? Yeah. That's right. Okay. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Folks, you know, gold is really heavy. It sinks down in the dirt really deep, so. It likes to be in deep cracks. What he said. We've worked down into this little crack, and now we've got a bunch of loose material, but it's difficult for us to get out because we didn't bring like a broom or a suction bottle with some water or anything. So we're gonna make our own little makeshift brush to brush the material into the pan. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Bugs. <laughs> what do you got? A couple 22 bullets and a little shark? A shark. A shark of metal. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty quiet. But... Really? Yeah. There's a lot of trash in here. It looks like there would be. Uh, I think we're going to go down to the creek and pan this stuff up. So we'll be down there for the next 5, 10. All right, the next part of this equation is that you want to find a really, really cold, refreshing mountain stream and um, get to work panning your material. I've got all the material right here in the pan, and all you want to do is just really agitate it. Try and get all of that dirt to fluff up and float out and all of the gold to sink all the way down to the bottom. You can pause for a minute and let the stream kind of clean it out and pick out the bigger rocks. Very important, you want to make sure that you kneel down right next to a big sharp pointy stick that can put your freaking eye out. Come on! I just noticed that there's this culvert that runs under the road here. And um, a lot of people have actually really good success when the creeks are dry, going under there and sweeping up all of the material that's caught in those little riffles and then panning those down or running them through a concentrator. Because a lot of the times the gold just comes right down the hill and ends up in this little natural sluice box right here. Don't be afraid to get real aggressive with it. One teeny tiny little flake. Right there. Looks like ramen for dinner again. Okay, plan B. First one didn't quite pan out. Now we're just gonna take a uh, not so ideal shovel, punch down in the center of this creek here, and pan some of that material. definitely a lot of rock down there which is good except for when you have just a shovel and you're trying to <clears throat> essentially what we're looking for down here is hard bedrock or layers of clay that the gold will rest on so you start seeing that that's the stuff that you want to use 
All right, second go around, not much better, but better. Two or three little flecks in there. It's hard to get them all in the same spot because I'm not a pro, but there it is. What do you think, buddy? Mm. Was it better in the creek or was it better up top on the mountain? Creek. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's gather up our tools and go show Johnny Utah. We got some! Eating high on the hog tonight. There will be Franks in the beans. Oh yes, there will. Nah. Why is there always a bug on my face? <laughs> Goes like right from face. That little feller there? Yeah. Don't worry about that guy. <laughs> hey now. Abel. What? Did you find gold today? Yep. Yeah, that was pretty cool, huh? Did you find gold today? I did not. Huh. So, uh, I guess that means we did better than you. I guess so. I did find a drone, though. Wanna buy a drone? Well played. <laughs> well played. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Make sure that all that stuff is clicked, whatever. If you're looking for a metal detector, hit me up. I'll post a link below to Treasure Mountain Metal Detectors where I can get you the best deal on all of your treasure hunting needs. Also check out my book, The Metal Detecting Bible. All of that stuff helps the channel immensely. Thanks for watching. Sorry we didn't find much more, but I hope you had fun coming along with us anyway. There will be Franks in the beans. Next time. There will be Franks next time. Next time. No promises.